Hey guys, Tech Adventure with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to hard reset your iPhone SE second generation or the 2020 model. And this will also work on the third generation as well. So let's get started. So when you do a hard reset, you basically shut down the phone software and reload the code to fix any software or even some hardware related issue. So in order to do that, first thing is you're going to locate the volume up and volume down button. We're going to press and release the volume up, followed by press and release the volume down quickly one after another and then come over to this lock or the power button and you're going to hold that until the screen goes completely black. Once you see the Apple logo appear, you let go of that side button. So I'm going to do volume up, volume down quickly and then I hold that lock or the power button on the side and it's going to ask you to slide to power off but you don't need to do any of that. Just keep on holding that button for the phone to fully shut down and then once it shuts down and you see the Apple logo, you let go of that side button. And this method is completely safe. It will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will still be on your phone. All again, it's doing is shutting down the phone software and reloading the code to fix any issues that you're having. This is also known as a force restart, which is Apple's number one go-to step in terms of troubleshooting any issues. Again, you might have to do it a few times to get the hang of it. It's going to be volume up, volume down quickly, and then hold that side button. And during this process, if Siri activates, that means you didn't press volume up and down quick enough. So keep on trying until you do it. And you can do it a few times. And again, it will not affect your phone anyway. Everything will still be on your phone. Just keep on doing it. Volume up, volume down. See, just like that, we're going to do volume up, volume down, and keep on doing it. As you can see here, sometimes it doesn't work right away, so you'll have to keep on trying it a few times. That's why you need to do the volume up and down quick, and then hold that side button until the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo appears. Again, it's easy and simple to do and will resolve most software-related issue and the number one Apple recommended solution in order to fix your iPhone's issue. And I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.